In this video, I will consider one numerical on Thevenin's theorem. For the network shown below, find current through 16 ohm register using Thevenin's theorem. This is the given circuit. We need to calculate the current through 16 ohm register. That is, this is the 16 ohm register using Thevenin's theorem. So, this is the same circuit. As we know, here we can observe that this circuit consists of independent source that is 40 volt and there is a dependent source. So here we have current dependent current source. This is current dependent current source. If the circuit consists of dependent sources, then we need to calculate three parameters that is Thevenin's voltage, VTH. We need to calculate short circuit current, ISC. Then we need to calculate Thevenin's resistance, RTH. So first let me calculate VTH. So to calculate VTH, we supposed to remove the load resistance. Here we are finding the current through 16 ohm resistor. So this 16 ohm acts as load resistor. We have to remove this 16 ohm from the circuit. Let me consider this as A terminal and this as B terminal. Let me remove this 16 ohm. So if I remove this 16 ohm resistor, then no current flows between terminal A and B as it becomes open. That is in this case, Ix will become zero because the terminal A and B is open. So no current flows from A to B. So Ix is zero. When this Ix is zero, 0 0.8 Ix, it will become zero. So this current source will become zero. The current source will become zero means this acts as open circuit. Therefore, I will remove this 0.8 Ix because Ix is zero. It acts as open circuit. Let me remove this. So it will be removed. Now it acts as an open circuit. Now we can see that the voltage between these two terminal A and B is known as VTH. The voltage between these two terminal is nothing but VTH. This is plus, this is minus. Now here no current flows in the circuit. Therefore voltage between A and B is nothing but 40 volts. So therefore I can say VTH is equal to 40 volts. Here, this is the original circuit which is given to calculate short circuit current. So this 16 ohm acts as a load register. So let me call it as terminal A and B is a load register. So to calculate ISC, first we have to remove this 16 ohm from the circuit. Now it will become open. We have to short these two terminal. If we short these two terminal, the current will start flowing. That current is represented as ISC. So we need to calculate ISC first. So as we know, in the original circuit, this is the current dependent current source, which is dependent on current IX. So now when we look at this circuit, now here it is ISC. So this IX is nothing but ISC. Let me call this as 0 0.8 ISC. So this acts as ISC. We have to calculate ISC now. So I will simplify using loop analysis. Here let me assume current through this loop is say I1. So current through this loop is already ISC is there. That is nothing but ISC. So here there is a current source between two loops. We have to analyze the current source. So I can write 0 0.8. ISC is equal to we have I1 minus ISC that is I1 minus ISC or I can write it as 0 0.8 ISC plus ISC is equal to I1 or I can write 1.8 ISC is equal to I1 or I can write ISC is equal to I1 divided by 1.8. Let me call it as equation 1. So now after analyzing the current source, we have to assume that this current source is removed from the circuit. If you remove this from the circuit, we can get a single loop. This entire loop is known as super loop. Let me apply KVL to super loop. That is apply KVL to super loop. So start from here, I can write 
40 is equal to voltage across 10 ohm is 10 I1 plus then current will flow through 6 ohm register. So in 6 ohm register current ISC is flowing that will be 6 ISC. ISC. So we know that I1 is nothing but 1.8 ISC that is 40 is equal to 10 into I1 is nothing but 1.8 ISC 1.8 ISC plus 6 ISC. So this can be simplified as I can write 40 is equal to we have 10 into 1.8 that is 18 ISC plus 6 ISC or I can write 40 is equal to 24 ISC or I can write ISC is equal to 40 divided by 24 1.667 amps. So we found ISC also that is 1.667. So we found VTH, we found ISC. Now we have to calculate RTH. So to calculate RTH, we should, we know that V is equal to IR. So R is equal to V by I. So here V is nothing but VTH, I is nothing but ISC. So this, I can write it as RTH is equal to VTH is 40. That is 40 divided by ISC. ISC already we have calculated that is 1.667. 1.667. Therefore, I can write RTH is equal to. So, RTH will get 24 ohm. So, now after calculating RTH and VTH, we have to draw the equivalent circuit that is Thevenin's equivalent circuit. So let me draw the Thevenin's equivalent circuit that is Thevenin's equivalent circuit. It is nothing but RTH that is 24 ohm. So Thevenin's equivalent circuit is nothing but VTH is connected in series with RTH to this terminal we have to connect the load register so here the load register is 16 ohm let me assume current through load register is say IL so here RTH is nothing but 24 VTH is nothing but 40 volt therefore load register IL is equal to VTH by RTH that is VTH that is 40 divided by 24 plus 16 that is nothing but 40 divided by 40 therefore IL is equal to 1 amp. So current through load register that is 16 ohm register is 1 amp and this is calculated using Thevenin's theorem. Thank you for watching.